Hey guys, today we're going to switch out the battery for a Soviet Titus watch, the, the scuba watch I had for a long, long time. You're going to need a thing to hold the watch. This is a quick watch kit I bought off of Amazon. Not exactly the best tools here, but this is basically like a $15 kit that I bought from Amazon. It works. It has uh, the wrench and it also has those uh, key nubs or the bits to open the back of it. Uh, so basically you're going to need one of those, um, a watch holder or I'm not sure, a vice, a watch vice. It's made of plastic or like um, resin material, but it came with a kit anyway. So I'll, I'll show you the kit a little later. We'll do a re review of the kit. But basically, once you put it there, basically, you basically align these uh, square um, bits onto the vice, on, no, onto the wrench, and basically align it to it, and just slowly turn the thing so you unscrew the back uh, cover of the watch. So. very very carefully you know you don't want to scratch anything basically you want to keep those things aligned i'm only using two of it there's actually a third um uh bit on this thing that could do the other one but you really don't need it i'm thinking people who've always reviewed something that says oh put all three on don't need to you just need two as long as two matches and as soon as you got actually twist it off is there's not that much pressure on that back cover um for the seal so that's a little bit like about probably five or six pounds of pressure and you could easily you know take it off uh, then screw it off of your fingers which i did and this is how i do it and i'm no way by no we means way of i'm not a jeweler or anything else i just the hobby guy who says hey i don't want to you know pay 20 bucks to have someone change out my watch that i don't even use anymore so basically once you open it up you see a little piece that holds the battery there and all you need to do is take a pair of tweezers and take it off. But yeah, once you have that lid off, that thing actually holds the battery in place too. But the battery is already pretty much stuck in there already. This is a pretty old watch. I had this probably at least 20 plus years um, before it was given to me as a gift from one of my uncles. Uh, but yeah, this was pretty pretty interesting. It has a little placeholder, but I don't think it's actually a placeholder. I just think it's just supposed to keep it so you can have a negative on. Anywho. Long story short, this old watch battery is the original. It was pretty stuck there. It's a, um, I think it's either an Italian battery or something else like that. I don't know. But it was stuck in there pretty hard. I tried using tweezers, and eventually what I did was I actually just used a, um, one of the screwdrivers, like a screwdriver that came with the kit, and basically kind of pull, slightly pulled it off. I started um, uh, pulling one side, and the other side came off. One side of the battery was oxidized, so which basically kind of sucked because there was some oxidation on it. The battery is extremely small for this watch. So, but I was able to get a battery online and basically I'll leave a link below as well. Um, I just got off of Amazon, bought another replacement. I'm trying to remember what number that is, but I'll, I'll put the numbers there too. But quite possibly, once you pull it out of the, pull the watch battery out, just find something on Amazon and basically search Amazon for a correct watch battery the kit from amazon kind of sucked to be honest you know it's a very very cheap chinese uh tools uh it works for what it does i'm pretty sure i could open these things pretty easily but if you're doing something you know really intricate i would not do it i basically just put the new battery in and just squished it in with my finger i mean i don't think it's that big of a deal i mean i try to use the tweezers but a light pressure from my fingernail and just to push it in i don't want to put too much pressure on the watch or anything else like that Again, this is how I do it, so disclaimer, not a professional here. Anywho, I also use some rubbing alcohol to clear off all the old gunk off of like the dead skin cells or oils, or whatever else, that are on the side lips of this of the casing. So I'm not getting any of it inside the watch, I'm just washing the back um, oils or whatever else that's on the casing, as well as any of that the old dirt and stuff that's been built up and some of the oxidation on that was left over by the battery, the old battery. Try to clean a little bit of it. Again, this is not sopping wet. It's just basically lightly moist with alcohol, so it will dry pretty quickly. You could buy like the 100% or 90% alcohol and it will dry like a liquidly spit really fast. But I'm cheap and the 70% alcohol is fine enough for me. I just wait another minute for it to dry off. But look at all that dirt and dust. That was from this watch I haven't serviced in probably at least more than 15 years so yeah they said this was bought for me when i was a kid or 
when I was um, probably like in high school or something like that. And it was a gift. They bought a small one. I think it's a kid's watch, but it's all good. I don't, I don't mind. It's, it's a gift. It's a gift. It's a gift. But just clean it with a, t- with a Q-tip and just make sure to dry it before you put the cover back on. But I just use a dryer Q-tip to basically wipe it again, just in case there's any other stuff. Again, like I said, I didn't put that much alcohol on my Q-tip. I just wiped the edges where the contact surfaces are and also where uh, typically it blocks when you have the cover on. So just get rid of any oils or skin cells or whatever else like that. Just want to clear that up before I close this thing up. Um, I also check the seal again. I will replace that, uh, that battery cover that has. And after that, you know, basically just push that one in with a little fingernail. And that's, that's why actually I keep my fingernails a little longer. No, I'm kidding. No, I just haven't cut my fingernails yet. But anywho, long story short, just put the cover back on and just slowly turn it the opposite way so that the threads catch. And then you could, you know, slowly screw the thing back in. Again, I already washed that top part with alcohol as well too. And did a quick uh, drying of it. So let's go ahead and put the, the cover back on. Dun, 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 dun. Right now I'm just drying the rest of the cover. Um, just to make sure there's absolutely no wetness from the alcohol or anything else like that. I'm also checking the gasket. Make sure that's still good. I didn't know if I needed to replace the gasket or not, but the gasket looks fine. And it'll stay waterproof for like, I think 100 meters of this thing. These are one of those scuba like, um, scuba style type, type, uh, heavy duty watches. But I doubt it. I think we brought this to swim a few times and when I was a kid or whatever, but this is way too, it was way too pricey of a watch for a little kid to, to, to use every day. So I basically just put it away and put on my Timex or Casio. So anywho, use my fingers and just basically slowly tightened it. So that's finger tight. Then I just, you know, I guess not. I guess I'm still trying to align it. So again, let's do this again. Slowly reverse a little just to make sure the threads hit correctly. And I'm just turning it so that's finger tight. Turn, turn, turn. Turn, turn some more. Come on. You can do it. And there it goes. And just turn it a bit. Now, originally, when I first opened this, I'm going to go ahead and align those, uh, those sprockets and those bits along with the notches. And I'm going to turn this back to a 12 o'clock. Um, Originally it was 12 o'clock. I took a photo before. I already loosened it once. Uh, so you turn it back to a 12 o'clock with, um, that's perpendicular with, uh, with the watch, the axis of the watch. So that's how it was before because I took a photo before I opened this thing. And that's about it. Now I'm going to just go ahead and set the time. And this is pretty interesting. These scuba watches actually have not only that weird looking turning plate on the top, um, but also the dial is a screw on dial. So you have to actually push down to unscrew the dial first to unlock it, then you pull out twice or three times for the um, time, and then you pull and you push back in one and a half for the date setting. And of course you, you keep on turning until the dates are right. Uh, but So basically let's turn that scuba dial back so it's aligned to 12 o'clock almost. And let's go ahead and set the actual time and date. So I think time is... Okay, let's move that to 10 o'clock. We're almost 10. Oh, it's pretty late at night now. So almost 10 o'clock. Let's go ahead and set up the date. So it was a few minutes before 10 and the date is... Bum, 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 bum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There it goes. Nine, nine, and it is not Sunday. Almost ten. Now I'm gonna turn it the other way. 
And let's move it to... Pum, 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 Saturday. Yay! Perfect. Let's adjust the time again. And almost 10 o'clock. Okay, a little further. Click back in. Then you have to push it in to screw it in for the waterproofing, I guess. But you have to put a little pressure, make sure it catches, and then screw it all the way in. And there you are. You're pretty much done. And let's align that dial again for the top. Click, 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 click. Click, 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 click. Perfect. Well, there you go. There you have it. Um, you just replace the battery from one of these Sol Soli D Titus watches. Pretty cool. This is actually a kid's watch, by the way. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, and all the fun stuff for more watch fixing and stuff. Bye bye.